that that is not supposed to be that flooded flooded bro it is all flooded bro what is going on what is up family it's your boy V the plan for today is we don't have a plan right behind us is this pond that is flooded it is flooded all over because of those heavy rains that we had um, we wanted to go local to our OG spot by Terry Hershey Park pretty sure that's flooded here is very flooded all over it is flooded we just have worms for today and we're gonna see if we can try to catch a fish from here um, and as soon as we get that fish we're gonna use that fish to catch even bigger fish so we're gonna cut that fish up and uh, yeah yo this is <laughs> this is crazy it is flooded the water so does flooded. not come over here it's over by the signs but uh yeah <laughs> let's try to get some bait fish I have my ultralight it's already in the water and like I said we just have worms for today I got my live well bait bucket with the aerator and that's it I don't think I've caught any fish here oh we caught a, a gar once mm -hmm. that was all we got here but yeah let's see if we can make some so right here standing is the edge of the water I know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. What is that? It's a drum. A, a drum? drum <laughs> that's that's weird, isn't this it? This has already started off being crazy, yo. Boom. Oh, that's pretty. A little freshwater drum right here. Who would have thought? legit exactly what we need too freshwater drum blood fishing how did this the only <laughs> thing that i can think about people are catching these fish from different areas is this did not originally come here at all this was due to the flooding and they're hopping from pond to pond to pond to pond and this is the result of it wow never would have thought that you could catch <gasps> this fish right here that was surprising this is great for gar. I want to plan on going to a close by the OG spot, but not the original spot. We're gonna go try to find another spot where maybe there's a bend and I can get a little break from the current. But <laughs> this is surprising right here. Like, wow. with the second little fish. It's also gonna be good to go. Sweet. All right, family, we got three fish in the bait bucket. We've been here for like an hour and a half, I think. So we are gonna go and try to go back to the OG spot, see if there's a spot there. If not, we're gonna keep looking. Probably gonna try to go for some gar, a bowfin. We saw this guy on the other side, he got a bowfin. We haven't had one of those since last year, so that'd be pretty sweet to get. But gar is the target right now. But still, very unexpected to get that drum, the uh, freshwater drum yeah. here in this pond. Again, when the floodings occur, these fish can navigate from pond to pond to pond to pond. They're just moving from different places because it gets so flooded. So that's really cool, very unexpected. And uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, guys, wanna show you guys real quick my setup. It is 60, I think it's 60 or 65 pound braid on my Daiwa BG 4500. I have a weight slide with one ounce weight. The current doesn't look that bad, but if it is, then I can step it up a notch. And I have my swivel, and then I have 80 pound uh, leader line, steel leader on there, connected to J-hook, and then this is that freshwater drum that we got at the little pond, so look at that. That is 
juicy. People are catching a bunch of carp out here. Actually, when we first got here to this spot, we were walking, trying to look for a spot. It was like a six, seven foot alligator guard came up out of the water. So we we're like, yo, this got to be it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, we got fish over here. Oh, dang. Yeah, there's, there's, it's active, so yeah, we're gonna get to fishing. We got this spot right here. Let's go. Oh, you got something. Another dang catfish. Oh snap. What? Dang, it's making it fast. Look at that. Jeez. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Right <gasps> <Yeah>. <gasps> Come on, baby. Babe, I should literally get a meat without keeping it in front of me. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> Don't stop, don't. He's right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get the last one. It's right here. Here. Oh my gosh. Wow. He's right here. Here, Laura. Oh, Laura, just take this, take this, take this. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. You no. broke off. No. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. Father. I should have fucking lassoed him. I should have lassoed him. Why are you getting attacked by freaking ants? And... <sighs> that was it. Perfect hookup. I seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously lost that big alligator gar. Would have been the biggest gar that I've landed. Uh, so it was literally right here. What I tried to do, since the bank was pretty was pretty close, I didn't have to pull it over anything. 
I was just gonna grab it and pull it on land, but uh, yeah, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the lasso like I had planned, like I had it here ready to go instead of trying to switch things up. Um, but yeah, that was a, it's a big lesson learned that's gonna hurt. Yeah, so we're out there again. Got like, a few more pieces of bait left and uh, there's a ton more alligator guards, so that's not the only one. I've seen bigger than, than that one there, but that would have been definitely nice. That thing was freaking wide. That was my mistake. I mean, in the water, I can move it freely, but then when, you know, you're trying to drag it on land, it adds a lot more weight. So that was, that was really dumb on my part, and I shouldn't have done that. I had the lasso ready. Even I told Laura to get the lasso, and I just took a different turn. And that's the consequence. It was a perfect setup. I don't know if uh, maybe in the GoPro I'll show you where the hook was, but it was right on the top and it was pierced all the way through. Perfect setup, um, a hook set, but another one that got away at the OG spot. Wow. Bye. Nice. Bye. 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 I need your, your big granddad. homie. Your big homie. Well, I'm gonna call it quits. There's giant alligator gar still going through. One just jumped over there. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to take an L. As always, I learned something new. Stick to your plan. And uh, yeah, lasso a big fish. Don't try to drag it onto the shore. Um, another cool little adventure back here at the OG spot. A lot of people still don't think that there's big alligator gar over here. They feel they need to travel to these really big rivers and stuff like that. You can grab them right here. And there's a lot of them. Whether I have a lot of errors when I fish, that's on me. But yeah, you could definitely land some pretty big big fish here and I imagine that other bayous or other creeks as well um, you can always see alligator gar it is one of the funnest fish to go out and land because sometimes it's just action 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 packed all day but it is one of the toughest fish to set the hook and you have other obstacles of not being able to see back in Michigan we have clear waters so I can see the bottom here you can't see the bottom it is muddy water you can't see you don't know the terrain but yeah we found a new spot it's flooded you can catch fish during the flooding as a matter of fact i feel like we had a lot better luck here with it flooding than when the water is really low so we'll definitely be coming back we're definitely not going to stay home um knowing what you know we just what we just did like that was the biggest alligator guard we would have landed today I think we landed it. It was on the shore. I got to see it. It would have been worse if it would have broke off in the water and I couldn't see it in the water. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got to see it. It was, it was a big, it was a big fish. I just wanted to hold on to it and take a picture of it. But um, there's always next time. That fish is out there. It's healthy. <laughs> the hook was right in the snow, so that's gonna fall off. Um, and it'll be back to fight again. It's not, you know, it's not something I can't come back and do. And there's tons of them. So there's some that are way bigger than that one. But, uh, yeah, as always, it's your boy B. Wow. I'm getting that soda fish. Now I gotta go to work all week. Just think about it over and over again. What could I have done? Ah, it's freaking, it's gonna be Monday tomorrow. <laughs>